This is the new This is the new Tell me this is Tell a, me about the bike, mate. This is a um, a Ford cargo bike made by a um, uh, company in um, Denmark called uh, Larry vs. Harry. Yep. It's uh, the fastest cargo bike in the world. It wins the uh, <laughs> the World Messenger Bike Championships uh, on a re regular uh, basis every year. Um, do you think that's got something to do with the bike or the engine driving the bike? It's got to do with the uh, the design of the bike, <laughs> as well as uh, a reasonably um, adept rider to go with it. Let's have a look. Let's get a close look at the bike, mate. So this is a fully customised version of a cargo bike. It's um, quite polished aluminium. Um, it's a little bit non-conventional because it's got a uh, road group set on it. Yep. As opposed to the normal flat bar and the mountain bike group set. Mate, where's the, what's going on with this stem, mate? It's supposed to be slammed. Um, if, if it ever was slammed, I, I would be uh, basically my head would be on the ground. <laughs> um, they only come in one size, yeah. so you've got to adapt them to your um, to the rider's size. Uh, so it comes with a 20-inch front wheel. Um, it's 2.45 metres long, 25 kilos, has a steering arm to turn the front, it's got a steering damper underneath the front there for actually um, um, allowing you to have a um, more firm steering. Yep. Um, and it's got usually a 26 inch rear wheel, but on this one I've actually customised it and I've got a full 700c rear wheel. Oh, fantastic. Um, so it's, um, and you got Altegra? Yeah, it's uh, Altegra uh, uh, leather speed yeah. and uh, hydraulic discs. Oh, so um, it's a pretty uh, full on piece of kit, $7,500 worth of bike. So, wow. yeah. Right. You know, tell me something. Why do you do this right, mate, in all seriousness? I do this ride because um, my great grandfather um, was a police officer uh, and he committed suicide in um, 1911. Um, I've got a history of uh, six police officers in my family. Um, going back to uh, the first one was my great great grandfather in 1866. Um, and um, let's face it, we, we, we all know somebody who's, who's died, um, yeah. um, serving um, at, at some stage, and I've had um, um, one of my classmates passed away, um, he, um, he got shot at Google Bar, um, and I've, I've met other people who've had fairly traumatic experiences, and, and um, the New South Wales Police Legacy is wonderful in terms of the support they give. Absolutely. So uh, it's really important to give back um, by, by doing something like this. And for me, I'm hurting myself today yeah. so that others don't have to. It's all about suffering for those that are still here, that have been left behind. And police Legacy do a fantastic job in supporting those families. Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. And um, the, the money we raise every year, it's, it really goes to uh, those who really need it most. And um, it's really nice to see. It's really nice to see the uh, stories come through of the um, kids and the families get help um, through the um, the bulletins that uh, the New South Wales Police Legs put out. So uh, it's wonderful for us to see the results of, of uh, what we do, uh, raising money for, for this good charity. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Rather slide up. <laughs>